Hey everybody, it's uh, Monday. It's our time for a word of the day. I was reading through the Sermon on the Mount in Matthews chapter 5 through 7 of the gospel. And in chapter 5, Jesus is going over the Beatitudes and he gets to the end. He says, blessed are those who are persecuted, right? And he says, look, blessed when, 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 when the, and they cuss at you, when they try to kill you, when they hurt you. He says, pray for them, love them. And this is what Jesus says. Great is your reward in the kingdom of heaven. So here's the question. What are you supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? What are you supposed to do as a Christian when the world hates you? What do we do? Do we stop living for Jesus? Do we quit proclaiming our faith? Do we stop loving? Do we stop caring? Do we stop forgiving? Do we develop bitterness and anger, apathy, or complacency? Do we begin to hide our faith? No. We have seen throughout the Bible and throughout church history, the more the world hates you as a believer, the more the fire of the Spirit of God burns inside of you and causes you to live out your faith more intently than ever before. And what happens is even in spite of that persecution, God is going to use your faith to light a spiritual fire around you all for his glory. So what do you do when the world hates you? You keep living for Jesus. You keep loving God and loving people, serving God and serving people. And he can and will use you to make a huge difference. God bless. Have a great day.